back with another whatnot mail call. What a mail call we got. Yeah. Let's get into it. Um This is very light, so I think I know what it is. Not hundred percent sure, but um where's my blade here? Blade Emerald Blade. Let's just uh, cut it up here at the top. Oop. I'll lose it now. February 28, 1992. This is 1991 here. That's right. The original Marvel cards. Series 2. Back in the 90s. These were the shit. And so, it's in this little bag thing. And guess what? <laughs> For your displeasure... I am not opening it. It's too old. I'm going to keep it that way. It's going to be worth something in the future. If it ain't worth something now. This is a nice little, little pocket of uh, bubble wrap. So I'm going to keep that. I'll just set it down here for now. And let's move on. Next. What's holding it now? Jeez. Missed it. Okay. All right. Tape, 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 tape. Of course. <sighs> See more tape. More tape. Get that there. And there's no pull tabs or anything, so we we'll just have to deal with it. What? Deal with this. tape do you need bro I just took that off and we got more tape put it on that one then oh my god why why must you put tape on everything arch nemesis of tape my goodness I tell you and then wonder why the plastic on the cover of the comic book gets ruined because I'm trying to peel the stupid tape off. Even though it's painter's tape, it's still a fucking ruckus to take off. My goodness, man. What the devil here? What the dickens? What the hell? There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Me, I have, nor I have neither the time nor the patience for this madness. Okay. Uh, bunch of pages have holes in it, but they still record it as a 9-0. How do you record it as a 9-0 if it has a bunch of holes in it? Hmm? I like to know that one. 
Maybe they're pinholes. Maybe they're tiny holes. I don't know. But this is, you know, a familiar book. Everybody knows this one, right? Credible 377. This is the uh, second print. And I already have one there on the wall. Signed by Lou Ferrigno. So, that's just extra. And then this one is, what is this? Oh, yeah. This is the one that, uh, story that most people are not familiar with, which I'm surprised. This is the uh, time that Apocalypse needed a, uh, a horseman. And he turns Hulk into the horseman of war. This is Incredible Hulk 456. It's a two-part series, so it's 456 and 457. Now, these suckers I am reading. And I'm probably reading them later tonight or tomorrow. Here's 5th, 457. Where he runs into Juggernaut and he makes Juggernaut scream like a little girl. So, yeah. That's good stuff. Next package. This one... I recognize from the uh, label. This is from Johnny Five Alive. I won uh, on his channel. Or whatnot. I won. All I did was stop by and say hello. And he was doing a giveaway, and I entered. And, and right then and there, it, it chose me. It chose me. Papers in here. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate your support. Hope you enjoy your item. Thank you, Johnny Five Alive. Go check him out on his channel at Whatnot. His prices are decent. And what I won was do a power bomb number one. This is by Daniel Warren, I think, right? Is it Daniel Warren? Daniel Daniel Warren Johnson. Okay, well, close enough. There's that. Freebie! It's free, baby! And then this, uh, I know it's whatnot, but of course it's... Ooh. Ooh. Got a big old hole on the side here. Hopefully that didn't do anything to it. It's such a small box to have comic books in, don't you think? It's pretty small. Let's get her open and find out. Holy moly. I didn't know I got that many. Holy moly. Okay, box down. What is this? This is really taped on there. Box away. Bubble wrap away. Go bag here. And I hear my dogs in the other room. One second.
Okay. Opening this big old bag here. Let me move the camera a little bit. I gotta close this window that popped up out of nowhere. Get out of here window that popped out of nowhere. Set you guys back there. There you go. Um, I don't know what this is. Comic book bundle. I had no, uh, no recollection of the comic books in question. They all look to be pretty beat up and old here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Even the bag and boards are old. The Incredible Hulk 395 is when he meets the Punisher. And the Hulk is being um, fashionable by wearing sunglasses and a blue hat. Incredible Hulk 396. This is right after that one. Featuring the Punisher, Mr. Frost, and Mr. Fixit. It's a cool cover. Looks like Punisher and the Hulk teaming up together there. Incredible Hulk 394. Introducing Trauma. Are you ready to give up yet? Sorry, but the Hulk is not a quitter, my friends. The Hulk does not give up. So he's preaching to the choir right there. And then we have some that are not in bags and boards. Which I have bags and boards here somewhere. So let's remedy that issue. And get some bags and boards here. So this is uh, pretty, you know, pretty curved and warped there. But other than that, it's good. This is a Incredible Hulk 274 newsstand. So let's put this puppy in a bag and board. kind of hard to work with since it's a little warped but this should help kind of flatten out I think I tore I tore the bag son of a bitch son of a bitch should still be good though anyways there it's in the bag and board lay it down flat there what else we got another one that's not bag and boarded. Credible Hulk 312. Secret Wars 2 continues in this issue. Um, this one's pretty cool. I like it. Put this one in bag and board. So, there we go. Good enough. Yeah, there's a lot of them. They're not bag and boarded. This, this was Credible Hulk 301. Ooh, what is he fighting here? Some weird monster. Doesn't it look better in a bag and board? Look at that. Whole lot better. Whoa. Another one. Incredible Hulk 299. He's facing Doctor Strange here. And it's also a newsie. 
It's a nice cover, ain't it? A lot of white uh, negative space there. A lot better in the bag and board. We got another one, Hulk 307. It's a little wore out, but it's okay. Cool beans. Put you in the bag and board. Ta-da! Good as new. Sometimes you gotta be careful when you buy them in the bags and boards because the bag and board make them look good. Then we got Incredible Hulk 289 and some crazy. Some crazy get up. Also in the newsy. These are all done in the 80s, I think, right? Or late 70s? And this is 83. Yeah. So early 80s. Got the phone going off. I don't know why it's going off. I don't even have it on me right now. It's it's somewhere over there. Oh my god, I'm gonna need a whole bunch of bag and boards. Here we go. Okay, I got these on hand. There's another one. What is this? Double size annual Incredible Hulk number 14. This one's got a, a bit of a I was gonna say it has a Wrap issue, but I don't think so. Maybe, maybe a, by a hair. That's a good cover, too. Incredible Hulk 298 and a Newsy as well. Maybe all these are Newsies when they came out, I don't know. You behaving, Mitos? You better be a good boy, Mitos. Can't leave it in that room by yourself. That tears up the couch or tears up something. Likes tearing up stuff. I don't know what his problem is. Then we got Incredible Hulk 296 where he's fighting this robot lady thing. Um, that I think I have a copy of this already. I don't know if I have the direct or newsy, but this is a newsy. Not an oozy, a newsy. Don't misquote me. Here we go. Board. And you go. I'm gonna have to tape all those. And then we got Incredible Hulk 280. Where he's fighting these little pink things. Um, also Newsy. cool cover right here. Uh, Incredible Hulk 268. 
and a new stand as well. I don't think I have enough bags and boards. I mean, I have some, but they're not made. These are pre-made that I made a while back, and I just had them on hand. So I'm probably going to have to make some more uh, for the rest of these, because the majority of these are not bagged and boarded. Ah, uh, here's 276, Return of the UFOs, um, and a new Sandy as, as well. Maybe they only came in in new stands, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think they, you know, and if you guys don't know, my personal opinion about new stands is like, I don't give a shit about new stands. I don't think they're that rare. I honestly believe that Whitman's, 100% believe that Whitman's are a lot more rare than new stands. So... That's my personal opinion from my research. Uh, and people seem to stay away from Whitman's, and I don't understand why. They're, they should be worth a lot more. Look, this one's really, <laughs> this one's really bent or curved there. Uh, 281. And see, and this is one of the mistakes that they always made. Like, like he's going to be worried about being out in space with his suit all messed up or whatever sorry to tell you this folks but Holt does not need a breathing apparatus to be underwater or in space he can survive both if you didn't know that look it up where do you think Holt goes when he doesn't want to be bothered by anybody to the bottom of the ocean baby Got Cuddle Ball 282. Well, him and She Hulk are fighting. Uh, at least I think that's She Hulk. God, I hope that's She Hulk. There's a leader. Is it She Hulk in here or not? You know those comic books that like to put people on the cover and then you open the book and you're like, this person wasn't even in the book. Yeah, She-Hulk. I just wanted to double check because there's other green chicks out there, you know. So that's 282. New stand again. And here's my birthday book. Uh, Carter Bolt 275. A new stand. And if you want to know about my birthday book, you're going to have to check out the time that I was on Rob Fatstack's Only Slabs. I'll tell you. Uh, no, it wasn't on Only Slabs. My bad. It was on um, the 1011 with uh, Gary B. I'll tell him about my birthday book. So go check that out when you get a chance if you haven't so not, if you haven't done so already. Then we got the most common ones, which is the Incredible Hulk 384. I like it when the Hulk has his own custom clothing. Because, I mean, you got to get your own custom clothing if you're eight feet tall and weigh over, I don't know, 1,100 pounds, somewhere around there. You're going to have to get customized clothing. I hate to pay the price for his clothes. Then we got Credible Hulk 383. With the abomination. And then I got this slot that I'm not even going to put 
I only got two bags and boards left that I'm gonna put in here. So this is number four, number three, number two. There's number one. Whoop. One, two, three, and four. Is there only four of these? Are they out of order or anything? No? Okay. So this is a um, Startling Stories banner. Hulk Stories by Corbin. Um, and Azarello. So here's number one. Right here he looks like Lou Ferrigno in my opinion. So that's number one. Here's number two. There's number three. And number four. What does the artwork look like on here? Not bad, not bad. Then we got classic Incredible Hulk here, which is 356. Uh, someone that McFarland did? Did McFarland do this? I don't see his name anywhere. Maybe not. Bikers are wimps. This is uh, Mr. Fix It right there. He always wore a blue suit for some reason. Incredible Hulk 358. Incredible Hulk 359. That's my favorite Wolverine suit. That 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 classic brown and gold kind of color. Or whatever color that is. I prefer that one over the yellow and blue. And we got Incredible Hulk 360. Stack is getting a little high over here. Oh man, these bags and boards are. <laughs> it's stuck together and all, and they got covers on the side. They're... Oh, there's a double. Check it out. So, Incredible Hulk 355. And Incredible Hulk 355 is a duplicate. Yay! What's better than one? Two. This one doesn't even have a board. It's just in that old polygon bag. Uh, Incredible Hulk 361. He's fighting against uh, Iron Man here. Or I should say Iron Man's fighting against him. And then this is the last one, which is Incredible Hulk. Runs into, uh, this is 389, runs into Man-Thing. And you can see his reflection in Man-Thing's goggles or eyes there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, that stack is about to fall over, so I'll leave that stack alone. Make room for another stack, because uh, I don't think there's not much in here, but we'll find out. Let's see. Oh, nice little packing. And 
some more packing in the bottom. Very good. Tape, 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 Stay meatless. Good grief. These things are all upside down here. Yeah. That's a cool Alex Ross cover here. Mortal Hulk 35. Mortal Hulk 47. Knight number 18 Slayer's Elite A Moon Knight using nunchucks and this by the way is a Whitman that's a symbol for the Whitman Incredible Hulk 192. This one's pretty beat up. It's got dents in it and everything else. Dog eared. It's got folds, creases everywhere. This is a two, if I'm lucky. But it's not something I'm going to grade. You know, it's just something I have in my collection. So, there we go. I wish you guys could see that. If I look on this side, you can see all the multitude of spine ticks all across the spine like uh like this corner right here look at that uh incredible Hulk 219 this one's kind of faded beat up on the top and it's got a multiple folds as well And a new stand, of course. And then we got a more modern one, which is Incredible Hulk 447. And then this one is just called Hulk number four. This is where he's like a... This is the Space Hulk, which I'm not a fan of, but I got it because the cover looks cool anyway. And Indestructible Hulk number 10, Daredevil on the cover. And I got the number 16, Son of Hulk. This is very weird, but Galactus looks cool in the cover anyway. And here we go. Marvel superheroes featuring the Hulk and Submariner. Number 49. 
This one's really beat up too in the corners and everything. Marvel Super Heroes number 53, Hulk and Submariner. There we go. Marvel Super Heroes number 59, featuring the Incredible Hulk and a newsy. Pretty sure that cover's been homaged a couple of times. And the Immortal Hulk, if I'm not mistaken. Uh. Oh. There we go. There's a fat, fat green stack. Mostly green. Now, the trouble is I gotta find room for it. And of course, the awesome 90s card there. It's got a big old number 83 on there, but you know, it's not on the. It's on the plastic itself. And that's it. Green on top of green, on top of green, on top of green. Anyways. Thanks all of you who stood around this long because it was a long video, 37 minutes. Sorry about that. Including the gap where I had to go check on my dogs. Anyways, uh, see you in the next video. It's going to be a banger. Um, it's only going to be two books, but it's a banger. Um, hope you guys enjoy that one. That one will be coming out pretty soon. This one's coming out, of course, this weekend. Next one might come out. I might just push it for next weekend you know give some time in between anyways thanks for sticking around enjoy the rest of your night guys see ya